Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Eyes, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author, The Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. So we got, I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. It's got a little bit of music in it or whatever. And the, the little steel, the photo steel that you see gives you a good indication of what you're going to hear and what you're going to see. There's a little bit of music playing in the back. I don't know if it's enough to make me mute it. Um, but I'm not going to waste too much time. We're going to go ahead and we are going to let this play. <laughs> So you were able to witness this is a, obviously a funeral that's being held at the burial site. And supposedly that's the mother of the individual that is in the casket. Her son has passed away. That's whose funeral this is. And she's obviously high and drunk. She's twerking. She's dancing on somebody else's grave, by the way. If you, if you didn't catch that, that's somebody else's grave. I don't know why it's so close to where they would have you stepping on it, but that's what it is. And there, somebody else, one of her family members, I guess, who knows, tried to come get her. I don't know who's got this trap music playing at the funeral or why this is not an occasion where we are mourning an occasion where we are reflecting on life and death. I don't know why this isn't an, an occasion where we are not remembering this person or anything like that. And the blatant disrespect and disregard. And then you've got people in the comment section. And that lady heart is broke. She trying to hide it. Okay. Her son <laughs> rolling in the grave. It beats crying, sobbing, and being sad. I'm sure that's how we want to see mom in good spirits. I'd comfort her. Nah, y'all don't understand when the way he went must have been his lifestyle. Mama knew what he was on. She not crying, but remembering he was lit in a great son to her. I'm sure he would want her to stay living with good spirits. Yes, it hurts, but got to thug it out for those who would want you to when they pass. Remember the fun times.
or is she just drunk because of the heartbreak? You supposed to stay in good spirit. She's strong. That's real. She probably trying to get the negative energy out her mind and be happy for her son. That's real. This is where we are as a people. This is where we are as a people. Because we think this is trying to put a positive spin on a negative situation. We think that this is strength. We think that this is how you, as one person put it, thug it out emotionally when something hurts you. We some of the most backwards people on the face of the earth. It's a sad reality because there's several things that strike me. She 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 likely had she might have had something to do with him passing. Who knows? He might have passed behind some stuff that involved her. It that would not be out of the realm of possibility. The other possibility is this is her son husband. Okay. This is her this is a son husband and he's gone. By the way that there's trap music playing and she's twerking or whatever, this is probably a young man. Okay, they saying that he was deleted. She probably know the ops. She might be the ops. You never know. Anytime you got a female that call herself your mama and she can have the indecency as to twerk at your grave site, she probably your ops. This this is probably your ops. Right? She 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 raised them good. Did she raise them at all? The level of dysfunction that this tells us about is astronomical. The dysfunction in the relationship between her and her son, the dysfunction that she may not have even been raising him, it that might have been a group effort. Obviously there's no father. Obviously there's no father. We know this. We know that this is a single mother um ratchet single mother. His grandmama probably had more to do. His grandmas and aunts probably had more to do with, with his raising than she did. Um, who knows what kind of dysfunction this young man was raised in. Probably running around here, a guyena. Not in charge of his emotional states. Things of that nature. Probably likely running with a gang. Or just running the street. And you get caught up in the street. And sometimes this is the end result of getting caught up in the street. And when you got a mama like this, can you be blamed for getting caught up in the street? What, where, where was his guidance supposed to come from? Her? She doesn't have sense enough to actually just mourn with some dignity. She doesn't have she doesn't have the wherewithal to mourn with a little bit of dignity. Because she if she can't have dignity now and decency now between herself and her son, she's never had it. The the the, the little priest guy just shaking his head. Once she put her foot on the rail, her sister, whoever that was, just threw her hands up. So this this one's been incorrigible for a minute. This one, this one has been the black sheep of the family for a minute. This one is the one that's got a bunch of kids. She'll never take care of them. Everybody else got to take care of them. And then everybody else got to make excuses for her uh, drug and alcohol abuses and her abusive behavior towards her children. Meanwhile, telling her kids that that's the only mama you got and you got to honor her anyway. And we got to you know, support her anyway. So she shows up at the funeral and shows out. Literally showing her behind at this, at the, at her son's funeral. It's a lot. It's a lot behind the scenes. It's a lot here. And I may not be a hundred percent spot on, but I ain't too far off. We've, we've seen this person. We've seen this chick in the hood. And you know she 
do everything. She she ain't nothing but in the street. She always got kids. She ain't never taken care of them. But she'll end up having sons that's loyal to her because that's how they that's how hyenas raise their sons to be loyal to their foolishness, loyal to a fault, loyal unto death. She'll get into any manner of foolish men and then call him and he's supposed to come to her rescue. He's supposed to protect her and he's supposed to die for her. I don't know. It's just something telling me that he, that she has something to do with him either trying to protect her or honor she don't have, or she got into it with somebody or something. And he jumped into it in the mindset of, I got to protect my mom. And then he got dealt with. Because you can't tell me that there is not a high level of dysfunction that has always been present. And this is just pretty much the last straw. And then she, and then you hear her in the back time, y'all just mad, y'all can't dance. Like, this is what you worried about. Your son is dead, and that's what you're concerned about. Right. Because she's been mother of the year. But this is what we deal with in the community because we don't have any standards for the women in the community. We don't hold them accountable. We don't tell them when they wrong and we don't hold their feet to the fire when they are wrong. We, we allow them to continue to dysfunction. We will know that they being dysfunctional or abusive to their children and we won't remove the children from them. We won't, we won't fight for the custody of the kids and be like, no, if you're going to do this to your kids, if you're going to keep them from pillar to post, if you're going to keep them, you know what I'm saying? Just in a bad situation, we're going to get them and you're not going to be allowed to do that to them. And you go live the life that you want to live, but you're not going to drag these kids with you. You do. If you want to if you want to be drugged down to the lowest depths, you do it to yourself. But we're not going to watch you do it to our grandchild or our niece or our nephew. We're not going to let you do it. But nobody does that. These women are allowed to have these children and raise them up any old kind of way. And we got to forgive her because she's a mom and she's doing the best she can. And she just having trouble right now. And, you know, your mama just going through something, you know. But why But but why a kid got to suffer because your mama going through something? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, if this is a sad case. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, once again, I'm your host. is The Crimson Cure. And this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.